and welcome to Kujo Sound. Let's have some game audio talk about Deathloop. I previously had a stream about this game going on, and afterwards I've been playing it quite a lot. I really like this game, but obviously also found some stuff about the audio that I would like to address. Mostly praise it for the high quality, and then some discussions about systemics and so on. Quick disclaimer here before we get started. These videos are about the audio in video games. I play a game, discuss the audio features, and try to decipher it. How it's done, could it have been done differently, could it have been done better, would solutions have changed it, and so on. Why do issues that we hear take place? I'm not trying to bash the game or review it in any other kind of way, and definitely not trying to mock or be rude towards the actual sound designers or developers of the game. Alright? So, Deathloop. Excellent game. I really like it. But I'm also a slightly fanboy here as I really liked all the Dishonored games, Prey, and so on, and basically everything that's coming out of Arcane Studios. The whole setting, the story, the really stupid AI, but that's the point, is just really as it should be. First of all, it's really refreshing to hear a game where the UI is designed like this. The UI is quite different from what we would normally hear. This is guitar distortion and feedback. That's a new one. Clicking around the menu has all it needs. Nothing sounds the same, but still in the same context. Back, forth, deeper into menus, everything. And some click and hold stuff even, that's really nice. Well done to whoever did this down at Arcane. It's also fairly common for games like this to have an ambient sound system that takes care of occlusion, various filters, and so on if you have instances of optics that basically spawn all over the place. This also means that we can sometimes cross the various borders of where this is calculated. So sometimes sound seems to vanish for no apparent reason you sometimes only notice because the sound actually goes away. So check this out. The doors are obviously linked to the occlusion system, so either a physical gate placed on this door and it, you manually simply control it by telling you if the door is open or not. Or the door itself functions as an occlusion creating obstacle, but this means that certain sounds passes through this door if it's open and if it's closed, they don't. It gives a nice effect of the door actually being part of some sort of portal system that you're going into between areas. The footsteps and general locomotion sounds of the main character is also spot on. Really nice footsteps. The difference between walking and running, but also the super detailed surface materials. Clearly small rocks here on the gravel rocky surface, the sand, the dirt, and other places. Deathloop holds a massive informant audio soundscape. So many objects are linked to sounds, like the upgrades that NPCs drop all emit sounds. Same as if you just find them laying around. Mines and various traps have sounds that are totally not breaking the immersion. It simply makes it possible to really listen to where the danger is. Don't walk in this direction, stay in cover over here, move slowly because there's a mine, etc. Same with NPC voices and whatever disrupting plottable object there is. You can hear where the defenses are, the ability disruptors, everything. Towers, fences, everything. The music is also excellent. High five to Tom Salta and Ross Tregenza for the work on the music. The music is really nice. It's also because it's quite different from what we would probably normally hear. 
Sometimes post battle you do get a slight delay after end battle and then before the victory gong is actually audible that basically plays to the end of the bar and then plays the end of the track. such a small thing it doesn't really matter this is probably due to in wise or similar settings simply having the end of combat marked and then simply having a setting that says that the transition should happen on next bar instead of instantly because then it's really difficult to time the transition on beats and so on. The classic rock tracks and the really nice Hammond organ on a Leslie being hammered during combat and the post-combat endings, it's really smooth, I really like it. Almost sounds like there's a small band sitting in the back playing something really cool, like totally jamming away at a club or something. There's lots of muffling going on as well, both in and out of menus, in and out of abilities, like this invisibility one here. And that's easily set up if they're using Wise by simply having states. You're now in the menu, you're now using this, you're now in cloaked form, etc. Reverb is also set up nicely. I would assume that early reflections are somehow automatically calculated, and then the main reverb is in the marked areas. Most likely the convolution reverb or something like that. This reverb is really nice as it changes from areas, but there's also a quite distinct difference between indoor areas. So this indoor area sounds different from this indoor area. So clearly something is calculating the room size, or really they must have a lot of buses for checking out reverberation. Outdoors with nice long tails and slapback, it's really excellent. Overall, I really love this game. It's been a long time since there was a game like this where I really wanted to give it a go and looking forward to progressing at it, coming home from work and really sit down and enjoy it. The audio being one of those reasons. It's not boring, and it's not pushing all the usual buttons that bother me when I play video games, like repetition, and it really brings something fresh to the table with the UI sounds and the distorted and feedbacky guitar sounds. Fresh and different soundtrack, and it's all very, very well done. Nice systems for dealing with all the setup in the game, and only a handful of issues that we find, but we really have to push and know exactly where they are, and they're not exactly game-breaking anyway. Well done, Arcane. Totally looking forward to Redfall and other games coming from your studio. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up or consider subscribing to the channel if you want to know more about game audio and the content I create here. If you want to support the channel and be kept up to date with other things that I do, then head over to patreon.com forward slash Kujo Sound, where you for as little as $1 a month can help me sustain this channel and get plenty of things in return. Nice community on our Discord channel and lots of help if you need it. I'll see you there, or hopefully see you in some other video on the channel. Thanks again for watching. See you next time. Peace out. This is Bjorn Jacobs and Kujo Sound signing out. Ta-ta.